Good morning, congregation, and welcome to Athens Christian Reformed Church. As you can see, I am not in the church building, but instead I am in the very cathedral that God created his uh, creation. And that is perhaps, in a way, the best church building of all, God's creation. Anyways, regardless of where you are, I hope and pray that you are doing well and that you are very much experiencing God's blessing, even uh, during this, uh, this lockdown and this stay at home order that we are in right now. And uh, even during this, uh, this time of, uh, yeah, sadness in some ways as we carry on through this pandemic. I hope that you are feeling hope uh, for the light at the end of the tunnel, not just the light of vaccines or whatever, of getting back to normal, um, but much more importantly, the hope of Jesus and the hope of his promises that are strong and true, that someday all of this will be behind us not because of vaccines or medical technology, but because Jesus will have made finally and completely all things right in this world. For announcements this morning, uh, I just uh, wanted to remind you, congregation, that uh, we are still seeking nominations. We're, we're close to having the number of nominations that we need, um, but we do need uh, a couple of more nominations, hopefully, um, for elder or deacon for uh, our church. So please prayerfully consider that and contact uh, those uh, to whom you believe God is calling you to maybe speak about the possibility of them being potentially an elder or a deacon. Um, there's more details about that in your bulletin. <clears throat> Other than that, I um, wanted to let you know that uh, after, um, well, basically, I will, I'm recording this on Friday and uh, Saturday, um, sometime during the day i'm going to head off for a couple of days of spiritual retreat uh something that i do to rest and restore and spend time alone with god um, as you know um, so i'm going to do that for a couple days and then the rest of the week i will be on holiday with my family uh, we're having march break together which has been pushed back i know a lot of you are experiencing that as well so uh so in the meantime, if you have a pastoral care need, please contact your elder. If you're unsure of who your elder is, you can always contact uh, the clerk of council, um, uh, John, um, and the information's in the bulletin about that. You can contact John, uh, or you can contact Henry, our chair of council, or you can uh, contact Amy, our secretary, and uh, any of those people will help point you in the right direction if you need to find out who your elder or deacon is. Um, and then um, last but not least on, on this announcement front, uh, just to let you know that Chris Smid is, uh, Lord willing, I believe, going to be preaching for us next Sunday. That is the uh, 18th for the service there. Um, oh, and I do need to announce uh, also something else. And that is that um, council and the details about this are in the bulletin. Council has decided uh, that um, based on the, uh, the stay at home order that has been posted by our government, that we are going to continue with, in, uh, with online services only for uh, at least the, the, the month that uh, Ontario will be in that stay at home uh, order. So um, we will update you, of course, as we go along, uh, but uh, that has been the decision for now. Uh, I want to reassure you that those decisions are not taken lightly, and we do not try, uh, not that any of you would say this, but we are certainly not trying to take the easy way out. We are very much seeking out what God would have us do, and I I personally feel that it is uh, pretty amazing that every time that our church has decided to uh, suspend in-person church services, 
Um, very shortly after that, uh, the Ontario government stipulates uh, that we should have a, a lockdown or, or a stay-at-home order uh, province-wide. Um, and so I see in that God's leading and guidance in that and God's faithfulness to us um, and, uh, and God guiding us in terms of how to love our neighbors as well. So uh, those are, I believe, all the announcements that I need to make at this time. So please receive God's greeting. May the Lord our God be with you and bless you. May he welcome you into this time of worship that we, together with his saints throughout space and time, everywhere and everywhere, may worship him in spirit and in truth. Welcome. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.